Today is March 7th, 2018. This is your daily vlog number 53. Uh, today, let me go ahead and show you profit trailer. And I'm going to try to keep this short. I've been like super busy. Uh, I, I just got a nephew. So yeah, today I got a brand new nephew. Can you believe that? Um, it's pretty damn cool. Um, yeah, we're on, I think, 947. Eli. Uh, good name, right? So... Uh, family background is Christian. Uh, I'm not personally, but my family background is. So get a religious name. But uh, every, what's nice is everything's healthy, good. Mm. So profit trailer. Let's get back focus, right? What's more important? Profit trailer is more important than my nephew. Pff, come on, man. What are we doing here? Okay, anyways. Um, last night, and I'm not going to go into the settings or try to explain my settings because I don't even understand what I set up. Okay, that's it pisses me off because give me a day or two because it's just a little, little ugly and it, it doesn't seem to fit well. But last night, this is what I ended up having. HSR BTC did a, it did a double sell. So it, it did a stop loss on sale number 51 and then it did a stop loss on sale number 50 again here. So I lost four bucks in within less than two minutes. Actually, it's probably like one minute. Hey, I lost four bucks. So first thing I did, stop the bot. I'm like, hey, here. If I could lose four bucks in one minute, uh, what else can I possibly potentially lose, right? So I'm like, all right, boom, put that stop loss in, in check. And then I go into my, um, let's go here. I go into my configuration, I believe. Paris, yeah, there we go. I added the rebuy timeout equals two. So it gives it two minutes before it can rebuy that same pair again, okay? So I think that's a really good, um, I think everyone should, well, I don't know if, it's sort of weird if you sell something right away and you rebuy back into it. I don't think that's a good idea. In most cases, I don't think it pays off that well. Um, yeah. But if it's hitting your metric, sure, why not? But I, I, just thinking out loud, I don't see it as a good idea. So I, all rebuy equals two. I think it's pretty safe. I mean, you're not trying to do anything crazy with it. Um, so that's how I wanted to prevent my bot from free falling buying a whole bunch and selling it so it's bought it, it's it met my criteria it went up a little bit because of trailing and then it's just like tanking 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 so i'm gonna be losing two dollars like every minute up, 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 up. right or and then that could be like a hundred dollars i could be out of my balance within a couple hours i don't think that would have happened but you get the idea okay so that's why i put the all rebuy timeout equals two then because of that pair specifically that pair I went ahead and tried my best to chart that pair and come out with some settings of my own. So looking at the one hour mark for that coin between 1 and 1.5, the best opportunity to buy was at negative 10-ish. Actually, it was a little bit less than that. Everything here was less than that, actually. And one point, uh, negative 1 to uh, negative 1.5 to 2, negative 2, I set it to this. So if that single pair is at that price target is is the rate of change is at negative 1.5 to negative 2 it's going to set these settings on it okay and that's what that means however the problem i'm running into right now with all this good information i set up is that i don't know if pt magic is accurately setting on my pairs now some of the stuff i just have to wait again so let me go ahead and explain the situation uh, let's take a look at ADA and it says the one hour change is, you know, okay, let's look at GBT, negative 1.74. All right, let's take a look. GBT, actually, it does look like a negative 1.74. Okay, well, we, let's go from the top. Yeah, that's about right. Because it was up here, it might so it came into the market, went up, went down, up again, and boom, it went out that way, right? So uh, that makes sense. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe it is working the way it's supposed to do. So based upon the one-hour marks, it should set up my uh, my buy options, and some of them are uh, at zero, which I don't get. But if you look here, it's setting those settings up based upon what it sees. Like, let me take a look at YoYo because I looked at it earlier. And it didn't look like uh, a, a characteristic where it should be at negative one. See, so yeah, that's no way negative one. Oh, that's the five-minute candle. Give me one second. 
change it to the one hour. Maybe that was my mistake this whole time, but this one is different. This one is going up, right? Why did it set this to negative one? I don't, I'm not 100% sure why. I mean, it's at zero, so yeah, it's at zero. Uh, let's look at AST BTC. Is that negative 1.45? negative 1.45. Let's go to the hour mark. So it came up here. Okay. I can live with that. I guess let's just go right here. Let me make this a little bigger. So it, this is the hour, right? It exited here. Or is this the ex enter? I don't know how sometimes this stuff works. How it, There's so much delta in between the two characters. But I'll, I'll go with that. That's fine. Hmm. Hopefully, the one hour gets populated on everything. There's a lot of points that the one hour is not populated. See, ICN is stating that it's greater than 2.5 at the one hour candle mark. Oh, it is way greater. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm safe. I don't know, it just didn't seem so accurate to me when I was charting it out. But let me go back into PT Magic. And I'm sure um, I, I cleared out my database recently. So if you look at my PT Magic, the database is just completely empty. If it wants to load. Come on, you see, cleaned up. But here's something I did. I don't know if it's going to work, man. But it will be really cool if it does. Oh, shoot. Zoomed in too much and the computer froze. Um, <laughs> alright, there we go. Um, I added the 5 minute, the 15 minute, the 30 minute, and the, yeah, 5 minute, 15 minute, and 30 minute. Because if I'm buying based upon 5 minute candles, so it gives me more options to buy. I mean, that's how I have so many sales, guys. I need to figure out what the trends are for the five minutes and hopefully I could get an accurate representation on PT magic and I could come out with some new settings so that's that's how I'm approaching this guys so far these settings here that I've set up uh, for the one negative one 1.5 they're all working unfortunately now I don't know if the market has healed up but it's, it's been green ever since uh, so yeah it's been green and so that's when I was sleeping all the way to page two is all sleeping time based upon all this information I'm like oh crap I need to put in some new PT magic settings in and I've been green ever since I did so that's the good news hopefully I stay green and that's the big question and then the other question I have in my head is I, I don't use relative I use absolutes and I, in my head I'm thinking that's a bad idea but for me at the time when I first initially set this up I was just looking at a single pair so the phone's ringing. I think that's my nieces. They're hungry because I have to watch the kids today. So anyways, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, see you guys next time.